Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, you'll learn how to add a border to an image and how to add space around the image. Starting with a new page, use the techniques from the previous lesson to insert an image into a web page. It doesn't matter which type or size of image that you use. To add a border to the image, first make sure that your image is selected by checking for the thumbnail of the image in the Properties Inspector. Then, use your mouse to click into the Border text field within the Properties Inspector. With the cursor blinking within that text field, use your keyboard to type the width in pixels that you want the border to be. Let's put a 5 pixel border around this image. Once you type in the numeric value for the border, simply press the Enter key on your keyboard. You will see that Dreamweaver adds a 5 pixel border around your image. To put blank space around the image, use your mouse to click into the V space text field in the Properties Inspector. Once the cursor is blinking within that text field, use your keyboard to type the width in pixels of the vertical space you want surrounding your image. If I type in 10 and then hit the Enter key on my keyboard, Dreamweaver will add 10 pixels of blank space both above and below my image. You can see that the image shifts slightly down when I do this. That's how I know that Dreamweaver has added space above and below my image. Now, use your mouse to click into the H space text field found immediately below the V space text field in the Properties Inspector. This is where you type in the amount of blank space that you want on either side of your image. Type 10 and hit Enter on your keyboard. The image shifts slightly to the right as Dreamweaver adds the space to the left and right of the image. As you may have guessed, V space stands for vertical space and H space stands for horizontal space. Adding space around an image doesn't make a lot of sense if the image is the only element on your web page. If the image appears next to text, however, adding space around the image is a good way to make sure that your text doesn't crowd your image. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.